Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I was talking to my friend last night and he mentioned how, um, you know, he watches my gym videos and he said, you know what, hey Reese, you should do a video on form. And I was thinking, yeah, you know what, that's a good idea. So, thanks for that idea, thanks for telling me that. Um, and I'll just kind of just go on about it from my perspective and my opinion. Um, basically what I want to say is that form is important, especially in the gym. Not so much in the real world, but if you like actually go around and do like lifting of like crates and things like that, it is beneficial to have good form as well, uh, like in the gym. And the way that you can develop that in the real world is by developing it first in the gym. So you take your baby steps in the gym, you move into adulthood steps, and then you can do it every day because it's just going to come second nature to you. When it comes to form, I think you can either do what I did or you can do what like some other people do, which is what I did was I started off small and medium weights and I wanted to perfect my form using that because you're still going to get muscle, you're still going to build muscle doing that kind of stuff because of course it's when it comes down to it, you know, you just need to really feel that burn and you can do that with light weights and medium weights and it will definitely make you look weak like I don't know, amongst your friends. Maybe maybe not against the people who've been gymming for a long time because they probably understand it as well. But amongst your friends and things like that, they're going to be like, oh, you know what, you're benching, you know, 20 kilos. Oh, that's so weak, you know, psh, get out of here. But if you're really just trying to build that form and to get a good grip and to just, you know, build your muscle and your sockets slowly, I recommend it. That's what I did. You know, I didn't hit the gym and straight away jumped into like 30 kilos on bench or whatever, you know, I, I went to the gym and I started really, I even started just with the bar, you know, just trying to get that formation right, because when you get that right, your body gets used to it, and slowly, you know, like, for instance, you could use compound movements as an example, when you do a lot of compound movements, yeah, you focus on some muscles, but in the end, it, it engages, like, all, all muscles, depending on what you're doing, it, it, it engages all the muscles in that area, so, those muscles that aren't the primary ones that are getting engaged, they're still getting a workout. So that's what you could apply to when you're doing light weights, medium weights, is even though, you know, you're not going to be getting big, big ass body from like whatever you're doing, at least you're going to build like some strength in those joints. And it's really important to build that strength before you do it, especially when it comes to things like deadlifts, um, dips, like an example of that is I jumped straight into dips and weighted dips and I've never even done dips before. so. When I did that, I really, I think I was like, I don't know, I, was, I, was, I had a sore shoulder for like a whole week and it really, really, it, it sucks. You can't, you can't do anything properly, especially your shoulders, because you need your shoulders for a lot of things. When I was in middle school, I got my, like, my collarbone injured, so now when I do some back workouts, if I go too heavy, it pops out, which is kind of gross. So, yeah, that's my personal experience, so that's, that's something you can go off, I suppose. But yeah, like, that's something else. And when it comes to, like, having good form, it's also good for your spine, especially those people who are hitting the gym really, really early. And, you know, they're still growing, and they, you know, they want to hit the gym and get buff. If you have really bad form, it's going to stunt your growth double. You know, it's going to make your spine not extend to the fullest, especially if you're doing heavy, heavy weights. So I recommend, you know, starting off light, medium, getting that form right, once you get the form right, you know, then you can move into heavier weights and also working on muscles that require that are required in that workout. So, you know, if you're going to do deadlifts, you know, do some lower back workouts, you know, do some leg press, you know, even if it's light. Because in the end, once you do all of those workouts, once you hit the deadlift, which engages, it's a compound move, so it engages like all your lower body, they will all function right and they won't be like, you know, chicken legs trying to lift like 40 kilos and snap your knee and your knee pops out and all this crazy crap happens and it's just scary and everything. And lastly, when it comes to, you know, form, if you have the wrong form, you're going to start swinging and you're going to start like, you know, throwing your weights up. Um, I know I've done this before, especially with bicep, when you have the bar and you do your bicep workout like this, it's supposed to be, you know, just, just using your elbow like a hinge, just kind of go like that. But when you have bad form or when the weight is too heavy for you, you start to go like this and it, it's, it, you don't end up working out your bicep. You end up just hurting your back and it doesn't work at all. So that's my advice for that.
you can follow it, don't have to, it's alright. But that's my personal experience. Especially for you skinny guys out there, I'm looking at you. Yes, yes I am. So skinny.